I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. You caught my eye, and I've got a feeling I'm falling. Show me the ring, and I'll jump right through. I used to travel single a week and to mingle oh now. Now I'm a tingle over you. Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be discussing the fragrance Zibeline by Wilde. Before they ventured into perfumes, the House of Wilde was a furrier founded in 1912, and their first fragrances were released around 1927 but their intention wasn't to be worn on the skin. Instead, they were meant to be worn to scent furs to keep them from smelling musty. They had fragrances for corresponding furs, such as chinchilla, meant to be worn with chinchilla fur, ermine, meant to be worn with ermine, and zibeline, meant for sable. Their first fragrance intended for the skin was, I believe, in 1933, called Secret of Venus. But in this video, I'll be talking about Zibeline, which was released in either 1927 or 1928. The sample that I have is from Surrender to Chance, and is labeled as a Parfum de Toilette. Zibeline opens with a dance of heliotrope and almond notes, as well as aldehyde. Once the marzipan heliotrope notes begin to fade in Zibeline, the heart becomes more floral, and the florals remind me a bit of those in Chanel No. 5. They do share some of the same notes, however, Zibeline goes more of the iris route, and I also detect a waxy rose, and the powderiness of Zibeline is different from No. 5. While Chanel No. 5 has more of a musky sandalwood powder, in Zibeline the iris is what I smell as being powdery. The main notes that I pick up on in Zibeline are, of course, the iris, that waxy rose powder, and aldehydes. There's also the heliotrope, and the almond notes I believe may be due to tonka bean. There's also something sweet in the base and a hint of spices. As the dry down continues, the fragrance becomes more warm. There's hints of civet and musk that start to emerge. And the longer that I wear the perfume, the more I begin to notice something spicy. The spices that are listed in the notes are tarragon and coriander. However, the spice that I notice is more of a cinnamony spice, a little like the Coca-Cola type of nuance that some people pick up on in Chanel No. 5. It may be due to the ylang ylang in the fragrance, or there may be cinnamon included that isn't listed in the notes. The honey also begins to come through in the dry down, which gives Zibeline a final sweetness that I didn't expect upon smelling the opening notes. On a final note, before I sign off, when I was researching Zibeline, I found that there seems to be another fragrance called Zibeline de Wild. That fragrance was released in 2010 and doesn't share the same notes as Zibeline from 1928. Do be aware of that distinction if you are searching for samples online. I hope you enjoyed hearing about this slightly unusual perfume. I hope that you will also stay to the end of the video to help me decide on the next perfume to review. Bye!